Welcome to another quick tip from the Talent IoT University. An integral part of any IoT prototype or proof of concept is the ability to present the data visually along with status indicators. The Talent IoT platform addresses this need with the Dashboards feature. The Dashboard gives a solution designer the ability to use a variety of options to display and validate the sensor data. The dashboards area of the portal is divided into three sections. My dashboards, anything created here can only be viewed by the account holder. Dashboards, items created here can be viewed by anyone in the organization. And finally, sites where the dashboard can be published to a URL and viewed by anyone with the dashboard's only account. For this video, I have a random number generator generating two sets of random numbers, and these are the values we're going to portray and display on our dashboard. So we'll start by creating a blank dashboard in my dashboards. I'm going to call it sample. And since it's a standalone dashboard, it has no parent. The two pieces of information that are key in this process are the thing definition and the thing key. My thing definition has already been created, and it is the dashboard thing definition. My layout type, since I want my items to be controllable, Instead of relative width, I'm going to set it to defined width so I can determine their size and placement on the grid. If I had tags on my properties, I could select them here. But my thing key is display. For the date and time, I can choose relative or definitive. I'm going to choose relative and show the last 24 minutes. And one of the key items here is auto refresh. I want this dashboard to auto refresh every five seconds. I can do a lot of things at this point with the colors and the appearance and the background, but I'm simply going to click add and get my dashboard added successfully. At this point, I have a blank dashboard and it's time to start displaying the widgets. When designing the dashboard, it's important to know that different widgets display certain information types better than others. So there is often an element of trial and error to get your information displayed just the way you want it. So I think it's time to add our first dashboard widget. And I'm going to choose the most basic widget, the current property value. So I'm going to give this a name. I'm going to call it random one. My thing key is still display. And you can see here my property key I could choose between random number one or random number two. I'll choose random one. And since I want this to be in a box, I'm going to show the border and save this configuration. In this screen, it will only show me the value at the time this widget was created. This screen will not update. So I'm going to save this. And I'm going to go back in and add another one, another current property value. I'm just going to call this R2. And it's going to be random number two. And also inside of a border. Save that. Notice I get the value. Save it here. And now at this point, I've built a dashboard and I've added two widgets to it. So the display feature here will always open 
the dashboard into a new browser tab and will update every five seconds. And you should see that here about now. To go back and to do more work on your dashboard, you can simply close this tab and go back into the design. I'm going to add another dashboard widget. And for this one, I'm going to use the gauge. I'm just going to actually name it gauge. And I'm going to choose random one. And I'm going to put a border around it and save that configuration. And notice the gauge is not centered here. Since I set this to defined width, I can change the size and even the placement of this widget. And I'm going to save this and now display it. And you can see now I have my two current property values and I have a gauge. The last widget I'm going to add is going to be a map widget that will show us the location of our thing. So add dashboard widget, map, and you can see here there are several options. All of these are detailed in help.devicewise.com. Our thing key is display. I want to see a satellite view. I want to put a border around this and I want to show zoom control so my users can zoom in. I'll save this configuration and expand it out. And you can see my item right now is in Key West, Florida. So I'm going to save this and finally display it. So here's my dashboard showing my random number generators in a couple different formats and then showing a map with the location of my thing. On all the screens we looked at today, there are a lot of fields I didn't have time to get into. All the information on these fields can be obtained at help devicewise.com. The last thing I want to show you is a dashboard done by people on our professional services team. And the dashboard we're going to log into is demo at devicewise.com with the password of DEMO123. This is our demo portal, fully populated. And if I go to my dashboards, I can look at the cement silo. And this is a dashboard using all the same tools you just saw. Obviously, a little bit more time and energy put into it, but you, we have a map. We have a couple different types of charts. We have display information. We have the gauge I just used. Over here, you can see we have a tank, and we also have hyperlinks. So we can go to different dashboards. This one shows vehicle telematics for several different vehicles. So we realized this was a quick overview of dashboards, but we hope it's enough to get you started along with help.devisewise.com. Stay tuned to this area for more quick tips.